Kalmar in Sweden. It's the 1997 Swedish Table Tennis Open as we continue our coverage of the International Table Tennis Federation's Pro Tour. Gino Edelong with Anders Thunstrom, former coach and player with the national Swedish side. We're preparing for the men's final, but first, let's take a look at the Pro Tour standings heading into this championship. Remember, the top 16 men and women will advance to the final in Hong Kong. All right, let's go to today's men's final. Yan Sen of China facing Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus. And this tournament is especially important for this gentleman because Samsonov is trying to sneak into the world's top 16 players right now. He is right on the edge as he's number 17, Anders. So this is a very, very important tournament for him. It is, and for... Uh the viewers, it's very interesting as well to see Vladimir Samsonov. He's maybe the future big star from Europe anyway. He's only 20, 21 years old and, and uh, reaching the World Championship final against Walner in Manchester this year, but lost. So he's really on his way up. Now, you mentioned Walner. We're in Sweden. This is the tournament that he dearly would love to have done well. Janova Walner ranked in the top five in the world right now, one of the game's premier players. But he was knocked out in the first round of this tournament. That was just devastating for him. It was, surely was. And I would guess that the organizers also had, would love to see him playing uh, more matches. But that's how top sport is. And, and it's, uh, if you're not on top of the game, you, you, you will face a defeat. And what that does is shows you how strong this field here is. Making the accomplishments of Samsonov and Yan Sen that much greater. And Jan Sen, a uh, Chinese player with the uh, pen holder style. Uh, and a uh, little bit unusual, he's a left-hander, which is not that often you see Chinese players producing. So pen holder style, left-hand player, uses a lot of topspin in this game. And what that does is it makes tough on the opponents because you face so few left-handed pen holder players that it's difficult to adjust your game to that. That's right, and you have to think more than once before you play the ball in, in the right direction. So, so it's going to be an interesting match. This. Jensen leading set number one of the best of five championship, five three. If you should say something uh, extra about Vladimir Samsonov, is that he's. He's extremely skillful in a certain way that he keeps the ball on the table almost every time. You will not see many easy mistakes from Samsonov, and he's very steady to keeping the ball on, on the table. Also, you will never see him making a too long service or too long receives. He's, he's, what he does, he does with 100% uh, care and intention. And his concentration ability is second to none. And right now he trails by one, six, five, Yan Sen of China leading. We will sh surely see Yan Sen trying to make a lot of uh, points on service or like there on first attack after service. Samson basically just running out of room to make the play on that. Oh, yeah, that was very, very right. Yan Sen leading, seven, five. This ought to be a very interesting match because Jensen is a very, very aggressive player. He is, and he will play on, on his speed, like you're saying. Aggressive, very quick, and, and that sometimes troubles Samsonov. If you can look at Samsonov's physics, he's very big and very tall, and that means that he has sometimes difficult to move very quickly. But he compensates with a tremendous ability of, of see the game, to read the game. And right now... Yeah, and Sen's doing a little better job of reading the game, much to the delight of his coach. He leads 9-5, to five and really controlling the pace right now. Samsonov has to slow it down a little bit. That's correct. Uh, the more Samsonov can slow down the pace, the better for him. And uh, also, the slower the game is, the more will Samsonov get room and space for his maneuvers. So that's exactly like you're saying, Gino. The, he has to slow down the pace. And that was an effective little technique there. <laughs> Taking right. a long, slow walk to retrieve the ball. Oh, nice 
lot of spin on that ball. You can see the service here, and then comes the top spin. Not that quick, but with a lot of spin on the ball, which is an excellent tactics against pen holders. Because on their backhand side, it's sometimes difficult for them to keep down a lot of, of, of spin. And Samsonov doing a good job of disguising his spin at this point. Excellent play by Jansen, wide in, in Samsonov's four and corner, no chance for him to recover from that. Right at the bottom, no time to react. Beautiful, he's playing real aggressive now and, and he's making the points. Eleven nine. Yen Sen, one of the world's top players, comes into the tournament ranked number nine in the pro circuit, uh, rather number five in the pro circuit. He'll move up at least to number four. With a victory, he can move up as high as number two. And Yen Sen have been frequently playing on the pro tour as well, so he is going all the way up now. He's improving his game bit by bit and, and will be dangerous in the future for almost every player. Oh, good. Ability to even get to that by Yang Sen, but he just couldn't make the play. And now leads 12 10. Just overpowered Simpson. And he's going for the quick ones and the quick shots was using something very unusual for a pen holder. If you look very, very carefully, using the, the, the backside of the rabbit, which is a new developed oh. technique by the Chinese. It was tough to detect, but that's the way he, he did it. Very, very unusual. He's just so quick, it's tough to follow. <laughs> it's the fastest ball game oh. in the world. That in high life. Sonoff would like to, to see it a little bit slower right now. Just a little bit more. The impressive thing with Samsonov is that it seems like he's never under pressure or never distressed due to the fact about the score. He's playing his game and gradually when the match is going, in the progress he's also improving his game. So uh, this is a very typical uh, scenario for a Samsono match that he's, he starts a slow starter and then gradually improves his game. And I think a lot that has to do with that the fact that he's only you know 20 years old he's just a young man he's just gaining some very valuable international experience and this is his first pro circuit final of the year is really going to help him a lot down the road. Yeah and it also has to, to do with his ability to read the game. He will perhaps be surprised in the opening set, or but once he has seen the, the shots from the opponent, he, he learns and memorizes how the, the, the shots is taken from the opponent. And by that, he's improving his game. As a former national team coach, uh, when you're dealing with somebody as young as Samsonov against somebody as experienced as Yan Sen, how much information are you going to give him between games? Will you focus on one or two aspects of the game? as opposed to trying to overwhelm the young man with just too much information? Well, I think, yeah, it's a very good question. I think sometimes coaches maybe make too much emphasis to giving as much information as possible because if you're giving too much information, it's hard for the player to really detect which is very, very important and which is less important. So I, I would guess that and my philosophy is anyway to try to get down to the valid points and trying to, to, to give him just focus on those. yeah give him advice on the vital points trying to 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 take it from there on not that much information normally the game plan should have been done before the game anyway so you have to adjust a bit depending on how the how the game is, is developing and right now it's developing quite nicely for Yan Sen of China as he leads Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus 1915 in the opening set. Oh. 1916. Crucial point for Samsono, which now has the chance actually to come back in the game because it's 1619, but he has his service. 
So that could uh, turn out to be a very important point for Samsung. Good service, paid off, 1917. It's typical Samsonov, as you see now, so he's, he's trying to keep his feet always in, in move. 1819. Now it's going to be interesting to see what the Chinese are doing. If he's going for something different, or... or I, I would say that he, he should go for something different now. 1919, Samsonov. Anders has done exactly what you said he had to do. Capitalize on his service, not surrender this opening game. And he's brought it back to a 1919 game. Oh, just a little longer. And just like that, Yan San is completely in the driver's seat right now. Yeah, look at Yan San. No hesitation, going for the full top spin, and that makes the point. And that's what it's all about when it's 19 0. No hesitation. Take your chances or, or, or go for it. That's and the way how you win close games. And send match point goes into the net. Tied 2020. <laughs> Samsonov could very easily have just backed off there, facing set point, but he did not. And he went 4 1 on his serve. Accomplish exactly what he needed to, but now the antenna service. Oh. On. Great break for Vladimir Sansona. Yes, and that was almost an unforced error by Jansen, and I think he realized that himself as well when he was pointing to his head. He should have gone for a more with, with spin there. Set point, Samsonov. Oh, misfire. 21 21. It's even, you know, it was even on the edge, very, very close to the edge. You can see there, it's almost like it deflected, so he is excused there. Luck. So close. Luck for the to Chinese. Take that lead. Just a little bit long, again, a little unlucky. Yen Sen now, set point. Oh. Long, 22-22. Yen Sen going for a receive with underspin, but the, on that service was very difficult because it was a bit of a of top spin on the service, so I think he misjudges that a, a bit. Come on. So then Sen goes to set point, gives up service. Seems that there is nerves in this first opening set. It's a great start to our final here at the Swedish Open. And we're tied at 23. A marathon opening set here in Kalmar, Sweden, for the men's final of the Swedish Open. Gino right along with Anders Thunstrom. Anders back in your hometown. And this is a great way to start the final, Anders. It is. And now it's going to be interesting to see what, what Jansen doing with his service and attack. If he gets some space for that, or if Samsonov is able to. Yes, he's able to take it away from Jansen there. Sona, set point. And Samsonov has done it. 
He takes the opening set 25-23. What a great seesaw battle, a terrific start. Sansonov looked like he may give it up, but in the end he hangs on, takes the opening set. Second set action of the men's final from Sweden right after this. Sweden, the coverage of the men's final of the 1997 Swedish Open. Vladimir Sansonov of Belarus defeating Yansen of China, 25-23 in the opening set. And if you're just joining us, my apologies, you missed a terrific start. Gino right along with Anders Thunstrom and Anders, the Swedish fans here in Kalmar really couldn't have asked for much more out of that opening set. Oh, that was very good table tennis and high quality all over. So. The question now is to, to see how Jan Sen can turn this around to his favor. I would guess that uh, Kai Sen Hua, the Chinese coach, have, have told him to play very aggressive and, and a quick game. Because like we discussed earlier in the first set, the quicker, the better for Jan Sen. Because that is his style of play. His style of play is don't sit back, just keep coming, keep going right at the ball. That's right. And if you can say that if something is valuable or... If Samsonov has some weak points, is that when games goes very quickly, when his big body can't uh, really uh, take that. With his size, I guess what he loses in mobility, he tries to make up for in reach. But when the pace is as quick as Yan Sen would like to see it, that could cost Samsonov. Yeah, and you will see exactly like you're saying. He will. He will regroup in terms of if the games go too quick he will take a step back and, and can still reach the balls due to his size and that's the way Samsono plays Jensen on service leading 4-1 in the second set having lost the first set 25-23 leads 5-1 completely miscued there he was, yeah, and I think uh, uh, it's exactly like you, you described uh, before, that Jan Sen now is playing real, real quick. And that actually forced Samsonov to that error. See if he can continue like this, being such an aggressive player. Net. 6-2. That showed even some over-aggressive. And Sen trying to control the pace of this final, but just long. 6-3. Samsonov net. 3-7 as he takes over service. Yeah, and you will see during this match, the Jansen will not take one step forward. He will stay close to the table, and even if he is almost out of it. I think he will go for the chances very close to the table anyway, to try to get points. So this is the match or matchup you will see. Jan Sen being the aggressive one, Samson of trying to maneuver him out by by more or less uh, smartness. Four, eight. For those of you who maybe have just joined us for the Pro Circuit Tour, this is stop number 13 of 14 on the Pro Tour this year. The only stop remaining is in France, and then, of course, the grand final in Hong Kong. Players not only accumulate cash and victories throughout the season, they also accumulate points. And the top 16 players on the men's side and top 16 players on the women's side, when it comes to points, will qualify for the grand final in Hong Kong. And Anders... There is a lot of cash available in Hong Kong. It is, and that's the biggest prize found ever in table tennis, 210,000 US dollars, which is, uh, I think, uh, great for these players to, to play for. And that would certainly keep their uh, motivation up to, to qualify for the finals. Yan Sen, we should point out, of China, who uh, right now is a little bit frustrated with his game here right now, even though he does have the lead in the second set has already qualified. He's already clinched a spot in Hong Kong. 
He is presently number five in the rankings. He has been very, very successful in the pro circuit this year. On the other hand, Vladimir Samsonov is right on the edge. He is ranked number 17 in the pro circuit this year. He has already acquired enough points to move himself into the top 16 by reaching this final. But he could virtually clinch a spot in Hong Kong if he can win this tournament. So that's why this tournament is so, so very important for Samsonov specifically. Yeah, that's correct, you know, and I think uh, uh, for Samsonov, it's like you're saying, this, if he wins here, it's like, almost like you're saying that he's qualifying for the finals in Hong Kong. If he loses to Janssen, however, he needs to go to France and, and taking the chances in Lyon. And of course, we'll have coverage of the stop from Lyon, France for you as well. Son frustrated with himself. He can't believe he went wide. Got caught a little too tight to his body. Jensen could not respond. Vladimir Sansonov now trails 9-11. Describing Samsonov is uh, a bit tough. You will not see any miracles or any flamboyant game, but you will see a very consistent, very steady game, which means that he, he's limiting himself with uh, very few errors and, and more or less giving a hard time to the opponent to always make the score themselves. And Anders, as a former player, I think you'd agree that sometimes they're the most frustrating guys to play because you feel like there is no weakness in their game. It's not like you can focus on something specifically to attack. No, he can't. And I think the only chance Jansan will have in this fight is if he can go with the quick game because he will not maneuver uh, Samson in terms of, of an overall round game. He, he needs to play the quick ones and he has to go for uh, fast pace in, in the match and in, in the rallies and right now it's working for Samsonov he has jumped back out on top 12 11 he has taken full advantage of his service so far except for there tie game 12 12 yes when I'm saying that Samsonov never <laughs> doing any easy mistakes that was a an unforced error for sure looks like both players uh, acknowledge that there was a touch so there's 13 12 to Jansen it was just that close and Jansen immediately appealed and said I, I caught the edge of the table and Samsonov agreed there was uh, no defamation you could just see just catching the edge of the table and that's a big point for Jansen because now he takes over service and he has the lead and that on the other hand was long the tape went long tie 13 13. Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus took the first set over Yansen of China 25 23. And now takes a 14 13 lead in the second set. That was a brilliant shot. Look at this back and top spin. No chance for Jansen. Wide, wide down in the foreign corner. There is uh, almost one meter behind the ball in Jansen. You're just not going to get to that one. But then again, Yan Sen, to his credit, uses his strength, and that is the good, aggressive, quick play, and comes back to equal the set again at 14. Yan Sen trying almost all the time to play his foreign topspin, and that's the way he has to play, and that's the way he has to make the points. Uh, one of the trademarks from Samsonov is also his receiving ability, which is uh, more or less excellent. So it's not easy for Jan Sen to, to get that room after service. And now he's making a, an unforced error on service directly. And he can't do that because his serve is so effective in keeping his opponent off balance that you can't give those away. Samsonov now on serve with a two point lead in the second set. Leading one set to love. Into the net. 
We play a best of five in the Swedish Open Championship. Net and long, and both players a little scrambly right now. Both That's are right. making errors. I think there is uh, the the quality has gone down actually from the first set. It looks like uh, there is more arm force there, like you're saying, and and the the rallies is, simply doesn't exist. Then. What a great shot that was! Samsonov just looked up and says, "I can't believe you got to that." Just right down the line. That was a good response. That's just good table tennis. That's very solid. Nice service and equally nice foreign attack. That's wrong. Samsonov leading 19-16. And he's turning over service, so he wants to just, again, like you said, Anders, slow the pace down a bit. He, he will, yeah, and this what makes it so difficult to beat Samsonov because now Jansen has the service, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's an advantage against Samsonov because he will receive good anyway. That was a nice play by Jansen. Almost got caught out of position, but adjusted beautifully. Very good backhand block, as we say. Very close to the table, which means that Samsonov got a very quick ball back, and he was not in the position. Brilliant effort by Jansen. Now he's got to take advantage. He's pulled it within two. He's on serve. He trails one set to love. He's got to win this set. That's doing, a break he needed. He's doing the right thing. He's going for the big shots immediately. That's the way to do. Nice, good service, and then a quick attack if possible. Even if he can hit close to the body on Samsung, I think that's very good. And Jensen's tied it. And a little rare display of emotion by Jensen. Yeah, this is a huge point for him because Samsung almost had the grip there. Tied at 19. Jensen looking to even it at a set of piece. Good rally. Just when we were saying play had been deteriorating slightly, they've come back. 2019, Yen Sen. Yeah, and there is pressure on Samsonov all the way here by Yen Sen's quick, aggressive, foreign smash topspin game. So that's very nice point for Yen Sen. See if he can clinch the second set here now. A huge, huge point of the match right now. Set point. And Jensen has done it. He has taken the second set, 21-19 with that. He's evened up the match at a set apiece. Just a huge point for Jensen. He had to have it, and he delivered when he needed it. And now as he makes his way back to the coach, there's got to be some encouraging words coming from his coach right now, Anders. Oh, yeah, that was a huge set for him and, and a very good comeback with 16-19 uh, down and taking five straight points in his own service. I think that's even extra good in terms of doing that against Samsono, which is a very steady receiver. So Yan Sen has done it. He was looking to equalize, and he did exactly that by taking the second set, 21-19. We're all leaving at a set apiece. Back with third set action of the Swedish Open after this. Gino right along with Anders Thunstrom, bringing you coverage of the men's Swedish Open final between Jensen of China and Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus. They split the first two sets. We're now in the third set. And Vladimir Samsonov leading 10-3. Samsonov had picked up his game here. And you can see this a nice rally, which is more or less killing the, the point with a very nice foreign topspin straight. Difficult shot to make. Huge comeback by Yan Sen in that second set. He just uh, really, really had to win it, obviously. Didn't want to fall back. Two sets to love. But now Samsonov really moving Yan Sen all over the place. 
dust. And here you can see the typical scenario of the entire match so far. Jansen very close to the table, being the aggressive one. Samsonov taking a step back, trying to, to maneuver Jansen by playing the ball in various directions. Are you surprised by that, that Samsonov has actually taken, physically, has taken a step away from the table? No, I think that's uh, more or less Jansen is forcing him to do that in order to, to keep up in the pace, to give him some extra time to read the ball and to, to, to return. So I think that's the right uh, tactics from Samsonov. And since his uh, physique is allowing him to do that, I think it's, it's the right way to do I guess the only upside is because he's got such a long reach, he can step a meter back and still get to those balls because if you're a shorter man and you step a meter back like that somebody like Yan Sen is going to start using the edge of the table and take you out of the game oh yeah and if you're shorter you need to run a lot uh, like we said earlier Samsono reads the ball terrific in the game that's one of his strengths so even if you think the, the rally goes very very quick it looks like Samsono doesn't move but in due the fact is that he's moving before Yan Sen is playing and he just got a major break there, just caught the edge of the table. Oh, yeah, now you, he's play, playing like Sabsonung doing his best. Very solid, no mistakes, and, and everything on the table. And Anders, he's got a 15-3 lead right now. Now he can get overly aggressive and take some real risks. That's kind of a miscue. That's right. And I th yeah, it's like you're saying, I think now he can play relaxed in this set. I think... Uh, there will be more or less an earthquake if Jansen should come back in this one. Now Jansen's trying to prove us wrong. 15-5. And now watch Samsonov just take his time to go over and get the ball. That's, he just loves to slow the pace down on that. Nice foreign topspin, though, of Jansen. You can see it's almost side spin the, the reverse way, which means that the ball is going away from Samsonov. Very nice struck by Jansen. We're in the third set here of the Swedish Open Final in Kalmar, Sweden. Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus took the opening set 25-23. Jan Sen took the second set 21-19. And Samsonov with a huge 16-5 lead here in the third set. Samsonov got cut. A little bit surprised by how quickly that came at him. You see him backing off, trying to get his body out of the way, but it was too late to react. 7-16. Very often when you play against long players or tall players like Samsonov, where they can reach the ball in the corners, a very efficient tactics is to play it just into the body, which means that the big body has to, to move and trying to catch that one. It's not that easy for, for uh, big, uh, tall guys like Samsonov. 8-16. Nice little backhand flip, and you can see Jensen a little disappointed with himself. He just caught tape, but, you know, you really can't be blamed for that. It was that close. Yeah, once again, Jansen is putting pressure on Samsonov all the way with his quick foreign attack. You can see that Samsonov is able to take the first two but can't make the third one. And that's the way how the Jansen has to play all the way. Quick, aggressive table tennis, like that. 17-10. He has not given up this set yet. You can see that in his emotions. He will go for this set even if it's very difficult to score at the moment. Oh, no, Yan Sen just got caught going the wrong way. He was moving to his right, and Samsonov just put it to the left side of the table, and there was just really no chance for Yan Sen. Goes into the net, and now he is in a deep hole. Samsonov leading 19-10 on serve. 11-19. Yeah, Jansen needed even huge to come back in this set than he had in the second one. And that will be difficult against Samsonov, I would guess. 
But he's going to give it every shot. 12-19. He's really got to go 5 nothing on his serve. He's up 2 nothing on a serve. He's on his way again here. 13-19. We saw him do it in the second set. Can Yen Sen overcome the odds to take the third set as well? Long. A costly error. Now it's set point. Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus with an opportunity to go up two sets to one. Goes into the net. Yansen still alive. Second set point. 2015. Third set point now for Vladimir Samsonov. Normal case, I think Samsonov can clinch the, the set in his own service. I think anything else will be a huge surprise. Jensen is long and it's over. Vladimir Sansona wins the third set 21-15 and with the victory takes a two sets to one lead in the Swedish Open final. Jensen made the big comeback in the second set, just didn't have enough to do it again in the third set. We'll be back with fourth set action from Kalmar, Sweden after this. The men's final of the 1997 Swedish Open. China's Yan Sen facing Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus. And right now, Samsonov is in control. He won the first set 25-23, lost the second set 21-19, came back to win the third set 21-15, a set away from the championship. Gina right along with Anders Thunstrom, and right now, Yan Sen has really got to clamp down. He fell behind the second set, but he made the comeback. Fell behind the third set, could not come back. He can't afford to fall too far behind here in the third set. No, and I think he has to improve and raise his standard of the game because Samsonov will not uh, go down in his quality of the game. It's rather opposite. He will improve all the time. So Jensen is up to a bit of a task here if he wants to turn around this match. Jensen is more of an emotional player. He goes in cycles where he gets hot and cold, whereas Samsonov is starkly different in that he is just very, very steady. He doesn't get hot, but at the same time, he doesn't get cold either. He's just a constant. That's correct. And, and uh, Jansen has to, to try to play the, the quick balls on Samsonov as much as possible. And also trying to, to get space for his four and top spin. If he can get that in place, I think he has a chance. If you've been following our coverage here on the Pro Circuit Tour, you know this is stop number 13 of 14 stops on the circuit. One final stop, and that is in Lyon, France. And then the top-ranked players, the players the most, having accumulated the most points throughout the first 14 stops, will then go on to play in the $210,000 Hong Kong Grand Finals, the richest event in table tennis. Beautiful receive by Samsono, which completely surprises and... and, and uh, Jansen, no, no chance. The opening was there, and he got it there. Oh, yeah, beautiful done. Samsonov into the net. It's 5-3. That receive also show how important it is to play in both corners against the pen holder, because pen holders wants to play their foreign attack from their backhand corner. That's their favorite position. So once in a while you're playing the ball wide in the foreign corner. So they really can't go in advance. And look how far back Samsonov is away from the table. Yeah, Jansen is just backing him up. That's right. Jansen is so aggressive, so Samsonov have no time to, to really be in front. Great placement. Just terrific placement by Vladimir Samsonov. Yes, he's doing it once again. The crowd here at Kalmar is appreciating it. Jensen trying to get Samsonov off his game with the serve, but then he goes into the open court. What can you do about that? It's like you're saying, great played by Samsonov. Right at the body. Point. Samsonov, 7-4.
Good rally. Jensen trying to hang in. It's a good rally and it's also a quick one. Look at look at Jensen how, how quick he's moving his his arm. It's unbelievable. Long. Jensen's not going to be happy about that. You can't make that kind of an error against a player of Vladimir Samsonov's ability. Long again. 9-5. Nice rally. And actually, Jansen making some very good backhand blocks. But it's not enough because Samsonov is playing his backhand final shot in the stomach or close to the body. There's no chance for Jansen to recover that. Jansen of the net. He trails 5-10. Now, we mentioned players accumulating points. On the upside, Jansen, by making this final, even qualifying for it, even if he doesn't win this final, has already clinched a spot in the grand finals in Hong Kong. And it's such an important tournament for Vladimir Samsonov, who came in number 17. Remember, only the top 16 make it in. Samsonov will move up the standings because he's reached the final. If he wins this final, he'll virtually clinch a spot in Hong Kong. And he also clinched a quite uh, important title in the table tennis uh, family because the Swedish Open is tend to have a quite uh, a good status among the, the tour. It's a very prestigious event. Six eleven Jensen. Seven eleven. Eight eleven. Now is it like you're saying, you know, he's in a hot streak again where where he's making points uh, very quickly and, and and the gap which was very big before is now only three points. And we've seen Yen Sen already twice make these big comebacks. I was pushing that net out. A bit unlucky. Oh, and Samsonov just keeps on coming. Yen Sen now finds himself in deep trouble. He trails 14 to 8 here in set number 4. Trails two sets to one. Net and wide, 15 8. And Anders Jensen is in big trouble. Oh, yeah, he's in very big trouble. And I think uh, it's going to be uh, very difficult for him to come back in this match simply because Samsono is not giving away any points. So if he wants to, to turn this around, he has to make his point by himself. And it's actually 17 points he has to make now. Long, 17-8. I think Jansen realized this is almost over. He must, uh, first of all, he must to take 5-0 in his own service. And I think he has to do it very quickly and then trying to, to somehow getting the, the rest of the point. It's really frustrating when you realize even if you go 5-love on your service, you're still in a deep hole. That's right. 9-17. But you said earlier in the match, I guess you've got to just target the small victories and not worry about the big picture. And there's two small victories. He's two love on his serve. Trails 10, 17. Eleven. 17. And there's that streaky play we mentioned by Yan Sen. He's three love on this serve. When he's hot, he's really hot. That's right. See if he can follow up with another two points because then it's match again. Three love on his serve. He trails 11 17. Yes. Four love on his serve. He trails 12 17. Yan Sen must just shake his head and say, Where was my game a few minutes ago when I was falling this far behind? Yeah.
No, he just missed the edge of the table, so he goes 4-1 on his serve, and now trails 18-12, and service goes to Vladimir Sansonov, and Sansonov is in the driver's seat, obviously. Kansan had uh, that point in his pocket as well, but missed the high ball. Good reaction by Yan Sen, but Sansonov keeps coming, wins the point, takes a 19-12 lead. Nice rally with Sansonov is also putting some pressure on Yan Sen all the way with a lot of good, solid foreign top spins. A lot of spin on that ball. Oh, into the net, that hurts. 20-12, set, match, championship point, Sansonov goes wide. 2013. Samsonov looking for his first title on the pro circuit this year. And there it is. Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus wins 21-13 to win the championship here in Sweden. Three sets to one. And with that victory, Vladimir Samsonov now moves up to number 10 in the World Pro Tour rankings, which virtually clinches him a berth at the grand final in Hong Kong. A huge victory for Samsonov, Anders. Yes, and it was a very solid performance by Samsonov as well, as you could imagine before the match, and which was actually happened as well. No mistakes, and very solid performance. His serve was on, and he was steady throughout the entire match. On the other hand, Yan Sen, somewhat disappointed, but came in ranked number five with the points he acquired he leaves the tournament ranked number two, and he also will be going to Hong Kong. We've got one stop left on our circuit. That is Lyon for the French Open. Until next time, for Anders Thunstrom and the entire crew, I'm Gino Retta saying so long, and thanks for joining us.